Yo, what up, Hosh fam? Uh, today I've got five tips for you guys. Um, a couple of them are pretty simple, uh, but they've really helped me out so far since I just started. New World came out today. It's an incredibly fun game. If you haven't played it, you definitely should. Definitely worth the money. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy the tips. If you do, uh, feel free to hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to, you know, play together. I'd be happy to play uh, with some new people. And definitely uh, hit that subscribe button because I'll be making some more New World content here soon. So another great tip to do, uh, and I learned this when I was playing the betas and everything like that, if you go to the town project board, and if you just started, you have to wait till you get to your first settlement. But if you go to the town project board, wherever that's at in your settlement, um, you're, you're going to want to grab all the quests down here that you have. Uh, eventually, you get to upgrade the town, upgrade forts, all kinds of stuff. But these town upkeep quests are super easy to do just while you're doing stuff. So foraging and deliver a set of uh, stout crude iron armor, coarse leather, 550 greenwood super simple but it gives you gold and even xp as you're leveling to level up a little bit faster so once you get to choose your faction uh between whichever one you, you choose uh make sure you grab the faction quest when you're starting out you're, you can grab it from the faction board whichever one you do uh if you turn them in you get reputation tokens coins xp and territory standing uh it's definitely worth doing like right there i just leveled up from doing that and it some of them might be repetitive like the same missions or whatever but they really help you get uh, level up really fast and you get tokens uh the tokens you can use here is to buy new rewards and this is gear that I mean, is significantly better than anything else you're really gonna find, especially early on. Um, so if you're looking to get PVP or geared up or, or, or level up faster, I would definitely do these missions as much as possible. Um, every time you turn one in, new ones will pop up. These bottom ones are a little bit, I would say a little bit harder, especially when you're first starting out, because you have to be um, a higher level. Like this one, we have to go, you have to go to a certain spot and basically just defend this point for a certain amount of time but usually the enemies there like for the for these um like if i grab let's, let's say i grab this one real quick if i go to my journal which is j um right down here disrupt which is the one i just grabbed is level 22. so even though i can grab it right now uh, it says destroy wolves of the overlook at dead man's anchor uh if you go over there those wolves will be like have a skull icon, they will kill you very fast. So I'd advise definitely grab the, the top three. There should be around your level and you can just keep doing those to get some more tokens and level. And then you can level up your faction, the reputation as well. Uh, for this next tip, um, this isn't for everybody too, uh, but I would turn on your PVP. Um, it's kind of a harder thing to do because you have basically anybody who's not in your faction can kill you when you're outside of the settlement. Uh, it may seem like a lot and it probably is because you might die more often than you would outside of that, but you get PVP or like XP rewards. So if you're trying to level fast, I would turn on PVP. All you have to do to do that is press U. Um, so I can change my PVP flag. So if I get rid of this mission here, let's see, I'll remove this for this, abandon. So if I press U, I can, uh, PVP and PVE players cannot be grouped together. So I would, if I do this, I'm with my buddy right now. So I left the group, now I'm in PVE. So PVP is disabled. If you press it again, you can p enable it. Um, and that means anytime you're at a settlement, you get like a little timer. And then after that timer goes away, anybody in other factions that has PVP turned on can kill you. And so same for you. Uh, but you get extra loot from it. You get extra P for getting those kills. You get extra P for just questing and surviving and exploring the world. Uh, so I would definitely, um, I would definitely do that. All right, so for the first tip, it seems kind of simple. Um, uh, in the beginning though, you get you can get an auto run function. This game, you have to run everywhere basically. It's set to equal, you can change that my set mine to numlock, so it runs automatically. But one tip when you're traveling, if you just, you can open your skills. You just press K and you can do your attributes, weapon mastery, upgrade that stuff while you're running. I know it seems like a super small tip, but you, can, I mean, you can't believe how incredibly helpful it is to do that because when you're running like that, and you stop to open your inventory, it immediately has you stop running. So just saving you some time there to, to level up a little faster. For the last tip, I would say just have fun. Uh, enjoy the game. There's a lot to offer in, the, uh, in this in this world, this awesome world. It's one of the best MMOs I've ever played, and I just started, and I played a, put a lot of hours into the beta. If you're not sure if you want to get it, I would get it. Check it out. There's so many streamers on YouTube um, and Twitch that are streaming this game right now. It's fantastic. It's huge. You can meet a lot of cool people, uh, play with some friends. Um, just enjoy it.